Biden campaign 2016, the next round of presidential primaries is less than two days away with candidates visiting Arizona and Utah this weekend. Once again, Donald Trump is defending some of his supporters. TV 1055's Brooke Silva Braga has more. Donald Trump shifted responsibility away from his supporters for a contentious rally in Arizona Saturday night. A protester was beaten while being escorted from the venue, but on ABC's This Week, Trump said the attack was provoked. He or his partner was wearing a Ku Klux Klan outfit. So you're blaming the protesters, not the person who actually punched and kicked the protester? No, I'm, I'm saying this. These are professional agitators. His Republican opponents, with little or no chance to win the party's nomination outright, voting for Donald Trump elects Hillary Clinton, are now focused on stopping Trump from earning a majority of delegates. Nobody's going to have the delegates they need going to the convention. Everyone will fall short. And the convention, by the way, is an extension of the political process. It's a part of the process Democratic candidate Bernie Sanders may also seek to employ. Trailing by more than 400 superdelegates to Hillary Clinton, he hopes to convince some to switch sides. To say to a superdelegate, Bernie Sanders won your state by 20 or 30 points, you know, you might want to listen to your state. I, you know, I think that that is common sense, and I think superdelegates should do that. Clinton returns to the campaign trail Monday with an event in Arizona. In addition to Arizona and Utah, Democrats will be caucusing in Idaho on Tuesday.